What's up y'all, Tech One FPV here, and uh, today, for a review, I'm doing something a little different from what I typically review. It still has to do with our hobby and our community, because we all need to know how to solder, unless we want to buy binding flies, which never usually are as good as ones you build, because ones you build, you have your heart and soul into, and it's just so much better in my opinion. They do have good binding flies. You do not waste your money on binding flies, but I, I like building. It's one of my favorite parts about the hobby is actually building. And But in order to do that correctly, you can use a cheap soldering iron. Or you can buy a cheap soldering station like this one. But I'm going to tell you something right now. This might be cheap. It is. I paid $60 for this one on Amazon with two-day shipping. They sell it on eBay, Jet dot com they sell it on banggood but you do not want to buy it from banggood because they charge a hundred and twenty dollars for this machine right here on banggood and i got it on amazon for sixty dollars shipped in two days i've had this machine for about a few weeks now probably about a month and so far i'm very 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 happy with it you get this little ic remover tool which i'll never use so we don't care about that you get the station, your soldering iron that comes pre-installed with a tip, and it has a little piece of plastic on it. Now this is a good, decent little soldering iron. You get your solder holder station right here with the sponge, and it's got these little holes in the top. What those are for, I couldn't exactly tell you, but I, I, some people say put your tips in them, but... Uh-oh. We're just going to go ahead and get these out of the way now so I can get them off of here. But next, you got your tips. You get the tip on the soldering iron plus these five, so you get a total of six tips. I'm going to go ahead and remove those out of the way. And then also, you get a blow gun, a hot air gun. And this does not come installed. You have to install it, but it's only two screws. You get this big old tip, and then the next size down, next size down from that, which I typically use for my heat shrink, and then even a smaller one. Plus, what you can use that too if you'd like, if you need to. Now, the, the model of this is the 862D+, as you can see right here. Mine is the manufacturer Vivo Home, I believe it is. But let me tell you now, you can search on Google, when you do that just hit 862D plus because there is like over God knows how many manufacturers I don't even know in all honesty there's so many so many of them you, this is crazy this is the manual you'll get actually I saved the boxes for everything so let me go ahead and show you the box it comes in China writing it's so small over here so I can't really show you much tell you the different models they have and it comes packed up with one of these on top like this and one on the bottom so it's it's protected well wow they actually put it in this box and then put that box in another box with styrofoam around it but I was gonna say one of my only gripes is all these knobs you know that nothing's protecting the switch or these knobs but now let's go ahead and get to the manual. This is the instruction manual. It's a SMD rework station. It is this this unit is a 110 volt. I believe you can get it in a 220 volt, but most of them are 110s. I know that. Its operating temperatures are from 100 degrees Celsius to 400 degrees Celsius. And the uh, air pump is a diaphragm pump. In case you wanted to know that, power consumption 700 watts. The rest of this information, except for some in the back, is useless. This is funny. These Chinese people. I want you to note something in a second. Okay. Name is SMD Rework Station. That's actually, the model is 862D+. And it does say below down here, ESD safe. Okay, power consumption. For the station it's 20 watts when power when the power switch is off it consumes two watts now it's got power switches here right 
but it's not on. You see how it's not turning on? That's because there is a main power switch in the back. I want you to note that. And the weight of the station is 8.81 pounds. Now your iron power consumption at 100, 110, 120 or 220, 240, 300 watts. 120 volts, 300 watts. Your hot air temperature, now remember it's at 100 to 480, but now back here it says 150 to 500 degrees, which is 212 Fahrenheit to 788 Fahrenheit. Now, that's funny, but for us U.S. people that don't know Celsius to Fahrenheit, that's it's about 200 to 800 degrees in Fahrenheit that this range is from. Now, let's check this out. Weight. 199 millimeters since in 7.71 inches since when do we measure weight in inches and millimeters anyways the weight of the iron is 0.26 pounds and then you got all this crap down here but regardless of that we don't that really doesn't mean nothing but yeah like I said you get your uh, little soldering station it's very nice soldering iron this is Actually, what I upgraded from looks almost exactly identical. This is what I was using. Looks identical except for the handle, right? I, I also got this off of Amazon for 20 bucks. If you're just starting out and you know you don't really want anything like this, this is a good solder iron. I, like, I love it. I've never had an issue with it. I just wanted to get this, check it out, and I was hoping that it worked like super good. So that way I could share it with the community. And it does work super good. Do note that when you get it in the package, this does not come installed. This little stand over here. And you need to install it before you turn anything on. It's only two screws. Because inside this heat gun is a magnetic. So when you set this down, it'll actually cool it down until you're ready to use it again. So you're not, you know, like how mine's back here and the wall's back here. It won't burn your wall or whatever. And this does not come attached either. It's just a little screw. You push it in and screw it in. And you... Let me explain some of this. You got your operating temperatures from 100 degrees to 480 degrees Celsius. This one up here is for your soldering station. This one down here is for your heat gun. This switch right here is to turn the heat gun on and off. This right here is to turn the solder on and off. And this right here is for your air power like how how much air comes out of your heat gun and this is from manual to auto auto is so when you set this down it will cool down on its own because of the magnetic switch in there manual you have to manually turn it down so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on remember there is a power switch in the back back here and there is also a fuse back there as well just showing you where it is. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And when you turn it on, the power in the back. Now, when that switch in the back is on off, it does consume two watts of power. Now, when it is on, it'll stay on like that until you decide to turn it on. And we'll go ahead and I'll start with the hot air gun and turn it on so you notice how you I don't yeah you can have both of them on at the same time but I don't like to do that now my temperature I can put it at 400 degrees 480 degrees and turn it all the way up but I have it on auto so you don't hear it running as soon as I pick it up now watch how fast this thing heats up I think it does pretty, pretty, pretty darn good. And it is getting very, very, very hot. And like I said, I'll try to give you so you can hear it. As you turn this down, it slows the speed down. Now I'm going to make note of something. You see how fast that went up to 480 degrees that was pretty good for a $60 uh, station and it I don't know how accurate the temperature is but from 
the like five YouTube reviews of this machine, they actually say it is only off by a few degrees. Now when I set this back down, it will start cooling down and if you have it all the way on low, it'll take longer. So what I like to do when I set it down is turn it all the way up and it'll cool down like almost in instantly. Like it doesn't even take a minute to cool down. That is so crazy. Go ahead and turn that down. That's me. Not yet. It's not down to 100 degrees yet. And you can also, let me show you this, you can switch that switch off and it will still stay running because it is going to use the um, pump inside to blow air through it to cool it down. It shuts the, the heating coil down and it will blow air through cool air. That's how it cools itself down, in case you didn't know. But if you go over to manual, turn it up to 480 degrees, now it's on manual so this magnetic, it doesn't matter. I leave it on there and it's heating up. Maybe not. Huh. I guess that doesn't work. Oh. I'm sorry. It's on. It wasn't on. See, now it's heating up. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot to turn it off. Jackass. See, don't matter. I'll switch back over to auto. It'll start cooling down. Manual. It'll start raising up again. But I'm going to go ahead and manual. I'm going to shut it off. That way we ain't got to listen to it no more. And you can even turn this main switch off back here, and it'll actually shut it off. And then once you turn it on. So if you don't want to hear that annoying noise, just hit the main switch in the back. But I highly recommend you crank the air power all the way up. Turn the temperature all the way down, and just set it right here, and let it cool itself down. Let y'all watch that for a second. It takes a little bit longer once it gets down closer to 100. When it hits 100 degree or 100 degrees Celsius, it will stop doing that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, doom, done. <clears throat> Time for the soldering iron. Yay! This is what most of us are going to be concerned with. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And look at how fast it heats to 100 degrees. Holy shit. This, I don't believe works for that at all, honestly. This blinking red light indicates that it's holding its temperature, as you can see. We'll go ahead and crank this sucker up to 480 degrees so you can get a gist of how quick it goes up to 480 degrees. And I've got some solder on there that I tinned with my iron last time for when I put it away. Pretty sure it's already melted. Yep. It is melted a long time ago. My sponge isn't wet. You see how fast this thing heats up? I mean, why spend $200 or $150, $200 on a machine? This one functions perfectly well. Like, I mean, it just functions so well. Look at that. And now we'll go ahead and we'll turn it down. So you can watch how fast it turns down while I, while I talk. And I'm going to go ahead and set this in here. But why buy a $150 machine? Now... I get longevity and whatnot, but parts are rel are available for this. Like this one actually comes with a one year warranty, and if anything goes wrong with the like the whole actual machine, and like it's let's say it fries or whatever, the dealer will their seller dealer whatever will actually send you a new one and let you keep this one. And as long as you send a video of it actually not functioning and whatnot, so you can potentially have two machines one for spare parts as you know this comes off so these irons are only like 10 bucks as parts and I believe it's it can be used with other machines I do recommend that you buy different soldering tips than these ones these ones do work 
there's nothing really wrong with them except for they just don't last as long as you know like a more expensive tip there is going to be some faults it is china you know, the qc sucks is what it is but instead of you relying on qc when you get this thing you do qc you check it over i mean that you're paying half or a quarter of the price of something else that you would pay for here that gets quality check that's what you're paying extra for in my opinion is quality check i mean it's built it's solid nothing's loose on it the wire is silicone it's very flexible and it's stiff at the same time so it's not like you know i'm sitting here soldering and you see this down here is not like getting in my way i'm moving the solder and tip all over the place and you know i mean it's moving tad a little bit but not something like this which is annoying because what will happen is I'll have it plugged in the wall and I'll go to try to pull too far away and it'll unplug from the wall. And not only that, but this is how you adjust the temperature on this one. And it's quite annoying, actually. And I don't feel this one gets nearly as hot. It, this one says it ranges from 200 degrees Celsius to 450 degrees Celsius. But, when you turn this one all the way on to 450 degrees, it actually shuts itself off. So you have to put it right before 450 degrees, kind of like that right there. This is the arrow to let you know where it is. And you have to put it right before in order for it to work. And, not only that, but you also have to use this too. And, let me show you this. And now, mind you, this was 20 bucks, so... I paid 40 more dollars for this and well I feel like I got a lot more I mean look at how it's not even in there like holy crap like I could probably take this off with two fingers like nothing like I could push this thing off see look at that that's it's Chinese little crap plugs and it doesn't work in the United States plug like this right here either I don't know why no you know what it is I remember now I've had this for a while sorry what it is is my socket plug that I use for soldering this isn't wide enough for so I had to put this on there and you see how spread apart that's what it is so but still you this you can use this I guess but whatever they sent they actually sent this with the soldering iron and you get let me show you what else you get with this thing for twenty dollars you get all these you get a little stand you get the screwdriver you get uh, a couple tips right there um you get a little pair of pliers like so right here these are very nice and then you get ones that have a curved tip on them but i actually lost those ones but with this one you get a dialed in digital temperature you get a heat gun you get six tips you get a stand instead of this piece of little rinky dink junk right there but i'm gonna end this right here you can go ahead and make a decision on whether you want to spend 20 bucks you want to spend 60 bucks and get a very well decent 